Holy crap muffins, guys. It's it. So vaulting's out on the test servers, guys, and I'm super keen to show you some clips and just some things I've found out about vaulting so you'll know these going into the main game. It should be noted that we don't know when vaulting will be fully released, but until then, let's go into the clips. So the first clips I wanted to show you guys is how high you can vault, the speeds which you can vault, and which ones will like make you take away your gun or leave your gun out while you're vaulting. The bigger the vault also gives you more time if you want to cancel it and come back down, and the smaller vaults usually won't give you enough time, so you'll be just sleeping straight over the little wall or whatever you're jumping over. A little side note is that the servers are really laggy on test, so a lot of these clips might have some slight delays in them. So the max height you can vault at is about one and a half body lengths, and also vaults which are only at waist height, it won't holster your gun, so that's really handy for combat. Another thing to keep in mind is if you're running towards a wall, you need to be facing that wall head on, otherwise even if you're on a bit of an angle, it might not connect and you might not jump over. A bit like how you used to crouch jump um, a bit diagonally and, and uh, used to be able to not get over walls that well, it's a bit like that with vaulting. Um, vaulting is a little bit easier, but I'm still noticing a lot of times I'll miss. Now let's move on to some more tips and tricks for vaulting. And before we jump onto those next clips guys, please remember to subscribe as I've got tons of videos coming out, new vaulting tips and tricks and how to's. So if you want to see awesome videos, please remember to subscribe and let's keep those videos rolling. So let's cover window vaulting. And as you can see in the clip right here, it's really easy to go in and out and especially sneak up on your target if the windows are already broken. I say if they're broken because in this next clip, I'll show you that they've updated sounds for windows so that when you hear one break Breaking, it's actually really loud and it allowed me to track my enemy and then kill him. So after hearing the broken glass I know the direction where he is and I start looking for maybe a window which is broken which he's jumped out of. Okay now I can clearly hear his footsteps below me. Now I just, all I need to do is just follow him and get the jump on him. So yeah, as you can see, vaulting through windows is extremely loud and also breaks the window now, leaving behind a trail. So this next clip is one of the first things I thought of when vaulting was coming out, using vehicles to get to even more spots and more places. And Battlegrounds is all about being unpredictable, especially in the late game. If you can get to somewhere where an enemy doesn't know or would not think of you being, then you have a huge advantage. And this game really does play around with the idea of mind games with your enemies. Doing things that the enemies can't predict will always give you an advantage. So peek left, peek right, then jump over that rock, especially to throw off your enemy. Though this might work a bit better in first person as you can't third person peek around objects. And as you can obviously see here, vaulting in first person is actually really smooth. And I gotta give credit to Blue Hole, I really didn't think vaulting in first person was gonna be really smooth. I thought it might be jagged and the camera moving around everywhere but it came out actually wonderfully and really smooth. And that's it guys, that's my first look at vaulting. I hope you guys really enjoyed. If you did like, um, obviously hit that like button. And if uh, you wanna see more, obviously all those how-tos and more tips and tricks coming up, subscribe and, and as always guys, beer. I'm saying beer in a weird accent.